Hey everybody, Christy Glass here coming to you with a finished object. Dun dun dun! The eyeball shawl is finally finished! Let's talk about the eyeball shawl. Okay, I saw Karen K Paws. I love calling her K Paws. I saw K Paws wearing this at Do You Knit when I interviewed her, and I had to have it because what I saw on her neck was this color. This, like, what is this yarn right here? Sorry, not sorry. Right on her neck. And then I saw this cream, and then I saw this border, which was amazing. And then when she took it off, I was astounded to realize it was the eyeball shawl. Because when I saw the eyeball shawl come out, I did not like it. I was like, mm, pass, no, no thank you. But when I saw her wearing it, I had this totally different feeling. And so I said, I want that shawl. I want to make it right now. And she helped me pick out my colors. And so here it is. It's done. It's all done. Now, I'm still trying to learn how to wear a shawl. I, this is not my strong point. I'm not great at it. I think one of the reasons it's hard for me is because I move around a lot. And so if it's not right, you know, intact, it's bugging me. Okay, let's talk about the yarn I used first. She didn't have all sock yarn. I think she made her all of her all of the yarn she used in hers, I think was all sock yarn, perhaps. But she is this, she has this hedgehog wall of fiber and it's all mixed up. So she doesn't do it by color. She's cause she's kind of like sees things like an artist, like a palette. And so she can just grab and find all the things. So the very middle of the center iris is the sorry not sorry sock yarn and hedgehog fiber. I have some left over right here. The, the outer part of the eyeball, the, I guess the outer part of the iris, I don't know, the, the pigment of your eye, is this one. I'll put it, I'll find out. I'll put it, I'll write it, I'll write it right here. Sorry. Anyway, this is another hedgehog sock yarn. Now for the, the crybaby, this is crybaby. She didn't have sock yarn, so she gave me some, some sporty merino. And she said two would be enough, and I don't blame her that it wasn't enough. But look how huge my, I didn't gauge, because it's a shawl, and I'm like, whatever, it's round. And so look how huge my eyeball is. I mean, it's way too huge, and it's way loose. And so the rest of it was also way loose, okay? In fact, not only did I not have enough to, f to finish the white of the eye, I didn't, have a f I didn't have enough to go to the whole 65 uh, yards yards 65 rows I ended up doing 61 instead of 65 and it was fine because it was so huge it was fine but I didn't even have enough so I was like what do I do about the border and I looked up on the hedgehog fiber store locator page and found that there were three yarn stores sort of in my vicinity in New York City that carry hedgehog so I took a gamble and I went to Annie's on the Upper East Side and they had crybaby in sock and I'm like that's perfect because I have jelly in sock for the border. So these two as sock, I think will end up being a better fit for the border. What's interesting is this version of Crybaby was a lot bolder and brighter and had just more speckles in it than the sporty merino sort of lot that I had gotten at Karen's. The other thing that's interesting is this, this skein of Crybaby has a lot more neon yellow in it. I don't know if you can tell, but it has a lot more neon yellow than this skein. This skein was much more proportioned with the green and the pink and sort of the brown color. So that was interesting. And I don't, I don't know much about alternating skeins, and I don't think I would have done that for this project because it doesn't really matter, but that was something interesting that I no noticed. One thing I've started to do with my knitting is before I knit, I, I often use hand cream right before I knit, and this hookah girl that I have right now, the hookah girl logo bar that I got at BKL, I love the scent of it. It's like honeysuckle. So I, I, pur I purposely put it on, like rub it all over my hands before I start working on my project, and then when I pick up my project, it smells like that. It smells like a woolly honeysuckle. It's awesome. So this shawl has like, like aromatherapy properties to it. Let's talk about the pattern itself. There's an increase that's described, and maybe I read it wrong, but it's a, a, a make one that I've never heard of before where you just kind of insert and make it. You don't like, you don't do a make one front, or you know, you don't do a make one left or right so that it's like twisted and you can't tell. You can see the make one. And I asked Lavanya Patricella, who was a test knitter for this, about it, and she's like, eh. I think she was a little confused at what I was talking about, but it ended up giving it kind of an eyelet look, which I liked. So you can kind of see 
where the increased rows are, right? Because it has sort of an eyelid effect. And I'm not sure if that was, maybe I read, maybe I read it wrong, but I liked how that ended up looking. I thought it was cool. I've never knit in the round like this before. It reminded me of crochet for a second. This cast on in the middle is just like a crochet magic loop in the middle. So that was really exciting and fun to, to do for the first time, knitting in the round. Loved that about the pattern. I really like that the main white part is the sporting merino because it's a bit softer than the sock yarn and I like that about the shawl. It feels nice and really warm on me. The I-cord border took forever and it does look nice but I, it's curling even though I blocked it it's curling and it's t a little tight so I don't know if I did it you know I, maybe I should have been a little looser but I can't get the shawl to lie flat which who cares because it's a shawl I'm going to be wearing it but that's one thing that I another human error I think um, I don't blame it on the pattern it's really big it can be like a little it's a it's a shawl like it's it covers my whole body it's like a blanket so it, it's I love how substantial it is and soft I love the pink color I love this brioche border the brioche was really fun I only had a little difficulty with it right at the beginning of the round for some reason it just looks funky so I tried to fix it a little bit when I was weaving in the ends but who cares you know like no one's gonna pay attention to that one little section. I never had to frog anything back on this project. What a miracle. I mean, there was one point when I had to un to tink, tink a little bit, but it was just a tiny bit. So I was really grateful that I didn't have mistakes. I like how you increase with the brioche. I think this is really cool on the points. I think that is a really fun effect. I hadn't done that with brioche before. I have a feeling you find a lot of that with Stephen West, so that's cool. So that's what I have to say about the eyeball shawl. I, I have seen a billion different versions of it with all different kinds of colors. I love that mine is pink. I still love it. I've experimented with different ways of folding it and wearing it. And I can't decide what my favorite way is. I've even like folded it like this in half so that I, I get that effect with the, the purple right next to my face. I really like that. And then you kind of like wrap it around with the border of it. Let's see. I'm still working on how to be a good shawl wearer. I'm not, I'm not that good at it. But I mean, I love how it's so nice and bulky. I kind of lost, here we go. Get that pink up in there. I love how it's nice and bulky and it doesn't look like an eyeball when you have it on. That's That was really important to me. I have nothing against eyeballs and eyeball art is really cool. In fact, I made a huge eyeball on my recent Share the Love Yarn Bomb. But I, I that turned me off to the shawl. So this, wearing it like this, is what I love about it. I love these triangles with the brioche and the stripe and the, and the white. I love that. And this is my first time, actually it was my second time working with Hedgehog. I had done a little Hedgehog in my other Stephen West pattern, my Pinguano, but it was just one section and it, 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 I loved how it turned out, but this is my first all Hedgehog shawl and I get it. Like, I get it now. After making this, even though it felt like forever, like took forever. I really liked seeing it all come together. I really loved watching how the colorway changed and it's really making me excited to go back to Do You Knit with Karen and pick out some more Hedgehog. Like it's working. I I have sipped the Kool-Aid and I am now, uh, yeah, I'm in it. I'm in it. Every time I was making this eyeball shawl I kept thinking, what, what will my posterity think when they are going through my pieces and they're like, what? What's this one that grandma made? Because um, I think it's a little, I think it's a really nice piece to to mark time. 2017, bright pink, eyeball shawl, speckles, hedgehog, Stephen West. Like, this is going to go into the vault. Like, if I make a time capsule, this one's going to make the cut for sure. Like, this is 2017. In fact, I need to think of a way, other than Ravelry, to mark the date on the pieces I make. I need to do that. I really need to do that. So that when someone finds it, you know, when my posterity, when my grandkids put this in the Salvation Army pile and they find it at the Salvation Army, they're like, 2017. They know where it came from. Wouldn't that be cool if, like, someone bought this at the Salvation Army and ended up yarn bombing a playground with it? Because when I was yarn, yarn bombing my playground, I'd go to the Salvation Army and buy all the Afghans for like a dollar, three dollars. And I used a bunch of those to let yarn bomb the playground. And that person who made that back in 1976 never thought of that. 
Never thought that that's where this afghan would end up. I'm totally rambling now. Are you making an eyeball shawl? Did you make an eyeball shawl? What should I do with my leftover sock yarn? Look how much I have left over. Jelly, crybaby, sorry not sorry, and the one I can't remember. I have enough to make a pair of socks. So should I like just stripe them up? Like what should I do? Because look at this, I have, this is like hedgehog gold. So what should I do with my extra sock yarn? Tell me, tell me, tell me, and tell me about your eyeball shawl. And thanks for visiting Christy Glassnitz.